Today on Plugin Friday, the Fab Filter Pro Q3. Hey, what's going on? Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now, Plugin Friday is a video series that I'm going to start doing not every Friday, but once in a while on Fridays, I am going to produce one video of a plugin that I love to work with, whether it's a um, third party plugin or a stock plugin out of Cubase. I'm just going to share with you the tools that I work with. So I'm going to start this one with the Fab Filter Pro Q3, which is one of my go to EQs. But first, if you're new here on the channel, subscribe, click that notification bell, and for all of you, share and like. You've probably seen me work with the Fab Filter Pro Q2. Uh, I've been working with that plugin for the past two and a half years. And I know it's a very popular plugin, AQ plugin, uh, to work with a lot of people, a lot of professional engineers um, do work with this plugin. And I'm gonna tell you why I love working with this plugin. And at the same time, I'm gonna share with you my favorite top new features that uh, came with the Pro Q3 version, okay, which are like, quite amazing. Anyways, uh, let's jump in. All right, so now I'm in Cubase and uh, let's open a, an instance of the Pro Q3. Uh, now, what I like about this plugin, first of all, is the look, the simplicity, and the fact that it's very, very easy to use. Now, something I look when uh, using a plugin is the sound, the, the sound quality, the tone that I'm gonna get with the plugin, and also the workflow, if it speeds up my workflow. In the case of the Pro Q3, uh, it is a very clean, EQ, uh, but the workflow that comes with it is quite amazing. That speeds up my work for sure, okay? Um, just the fact that I can create bands very easily by just a simple click, and I have a bell curve uh, band to work with. Um, that is quite nice. If I just want to uh, add a filter, a high pass filter or a low pass filter, I just double click uh, on the right or left side of uh, the Fab Filter Pro Q3, and there you go. I'm uh, up to pace to start working with my high pass or low pass filter, which is quite nice. And another fast way to, to create a shelf, a high shelf or a low shelf. Again, I go to the right or the left side of the plugin and I just drag up and down uh, or down and there you go. I have my high shelf or low shelf, uh, which is again, very, uh, very fast to, uh, to activate those bands. Um, and again, something that is very cool with this plugin is you have a lot of bands that you can create. Um, there's up to 24 uh, point bands that you can create, which is like way more than enough. Uh, so it is very versatile in this way. Settings are very easy to tweak. If I just need to uh, to, to, to tweak the, uh, the Q settings, the Q value, I just bring my mouse wheel up and down and that's it. That's the only thing I need to uh, to do. I can uh, select several points altogether and change the Q value altogether if I want to, or the amplitude, or just the frequencies altogether, or delete them all if I want to delete all the points. Okay, so very, very simple to use. Now, I'm not gonna dive into all the features that the Pro-Q offers, but those are just like the, the top features that I like on my side and that I work with all the time. Auto gain is very cool. Uh, you can activate auto gain right here. If I boost the frequency, it is gonna affect the output level of the plugin. Same if I cut a frequency, the output is gonna be lower. By activating auto gain, the output level will be adjusted automatically. That can be useful. Gain interaction is very nice too. If I wanna can activate the gain Q interaction, which will increase the amount of Q. The more I boost a frequency and the more I cut a frequency. So this will be close to uh, to what some old analog EQ do. Okay, now I'm gonna cover my top favorite features of the new version of the Pro-Q. First, the dynamic EQ, which is a very useful tool. So let me show you how that works with the FabFilter Pro-Q3. Uh, so to activate dynamic EQ, you just create yourself a band and you just bring down that red zone of the gain knob and that will activate the dynamic EQ. Um, and you can also um, you can also bring down the EQ, uh, the cut and the boost by just bringing down the uh, the arrows. 
that you see. Okay, so this is the zone that will be affected dynamically. Now, if the amount of frequencies is selected reaches the threshold point, then the EQ will start to cut or to boost, depending on your settings. Everything is automatic except the threshold, so the threshold by default will be in auto mode, but you can activate the manual mode as well. Uh, but as far as the release, the attack, everything is uh, automatic. A bit less control, but faster to work with. And it sounds pretty good, you know? The, I think the, uh, the, the way it's done under the hood is well done. Okay, so let me give you an example of uh, how we can use a dynamic EQ. Now, I have a drum take here. Okay, so let's add a bit of top end to the drums. Okay, now the snare sounds a bit too bright to my taste, opposed to the kick and the hats. Kick and hats sounds pretty good this way, but it, it, there's a bit too much of, uh, of top end on the snare. So I'm gonna tame that down by adding a dynamic EQ to, to that same band, okay? So I'm just gonna bring down the dynamic EQ, and this will take care of the snare high frequencies. Okay, you see that? So snare and toms are a bit more controlled as far as those selected frequencies goes uh, compared to the kick and the hats, which stays brighter. Okay, I'm just gonna bypass the dynamic EQ. I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna bypass the entire EQ. Okay, so this is the type of thing you can do with dynamic EQ. Now, this type of technique is a bit more advanced, but I just wanted to give you an idea on how dynamic EQ works in the Fab Filter Pro Q3. Now, next, something cool that uh, we have here on the Pro Q3 is uh, the mid-side processing. Uh, we used to have access to mid-side processing with Pro Q2, but this feature was activated on the entire plugin instead of single bands. But now in the Pro Q3, uh, the mid-side processing feature is activated on uh, every individual uh, frequency bands that you create. So, for example, if I uh, I just want to um, add a low cut filter on the sides, uh, what I do, I double click activate my uh, my uh, low cut filter, and I select right here where you see stereo. I select sides. In my case, I would just want to uh, cut the low end of the side, and this is what I get. I can monitor what I'm doing. So a very useful tool. You can also work the mid part, which is the center, uh, the left or the right separately. That can also be useful in some cases. And stereo, which is the entire stereo field. So this is what you have access to on each bands, which is again, very fast to access. And this is something I like about FabFilter, the way they make their plugin. Uh, everything is very, very simple and very easy to use. So now we have some other cool features of this uh, new version. Uh, the analyzer, which will give you access to all other channels that you have the Pro Q3 inserted on, uh, which is very nice. If you want to just monitor, for example, you're working on your kick drum and uh, your bass guitar and you want to monitor um, the, the spectral analyzer of each channel, you can do so uh, this way. For I'm just going to give you a quick, quick example. So let's activate uh, the bass, uh, the bass drum right here. And then in red, what you see is the frequency response, the analyzer actually of the bass drum. And in the background in blue, that's our general uh, drum take that we're listening to right now. Now it is a cool tool, but you know, 
when you do this type of stuff, make sure you use your ears more than anything else. Okay, don't mix with your eyes. It is quite cool, though, to have access to spectral analyzers of different sources all at once. So I kind of like that feature. Uh, now, as far as the filter goes for the high pass and low pass filters, um, you can go up to 96 dB per octave with the Pro-Q2 version. But now with the Q3, you can go up to brick wall, which is quite extreme. Um, useful for sound design in a mixing situation. As far as music goes, uh, I never use brick wall uh, filters. But for sound design, like I was saying, that can be a creative tool. Now there's other features that are cool with, uh, with the FabFilter Pro Q3. I'm just gonna give you one quick one. Uh, you're boosting your uh, frequency. Uh, you wanna just cut that frequency once you locate what was the problem, the frequency that was the problem. You just wanna cut that frequency out. You right click and you uh, click on invert gain and there you go. It will invert the selection you had before. Then we also have the tilt mode. Let me check here. The flat tilt which again can be pretty cool. And even with the flat tilt, you have access to, uh, let's say you just want to flat tilt dynamically, you can, you can do the same with dynamic EQ uh, by using the tilt, which is again, quite cool. So there's much more to say about this plugin, but those are the features that I like of the FabFilter Pro Q and of course the new features that came with the Pro Q3 version. So there you go, guys. This is why I love using the FabFilter Pro Q3. The new features are amazing, and I do use this EQ quite a lot, especially as a correction EQ tool. So I want to know on your end, what is your favorite EQ plugin, the one that you like using the most? Leave everything down below in the comment section, and also if you have any questions or other comments, you can leave them down below as well. If you're new here again on the channel, subscribe, click that notification bell, and if uh, you think that video was helpful, like and share. All right, guys, I'm going to see you next time. Ciao.